In the next slides, I would like to show you a little bit about um, GCI. I would like to, to introduce you briefly to the technology. And before doing that, I would like to highlight uh, two major principles um, that are out there to study uh, signals from surface sensors. The one is the classical SPR, um, surface plasma resonance, shown on the left side. And it uses changes in reflective indexes um, once an uh, analyte is bound uh, to the immobilized ligand. And SPR is focusing on specific spots on the sensor chip, so it's a local signal readout. Hence, the readout intensity is rather small, so the small signal is rather small. Waveguide interferometry as a principle um, it rather uses um, a readout that is across the complete sensor. This should be um, done by coupling of a reference beam and a sample beam and really be able to analyze the complete chip, which would grant you the higher signal. Technically spoken, uh, this is really challenging. So to develop such a technology and also to be able to produce that, this is the critical point. And that is also the reason why SPR uh, is the more common um, principle. Preoptics has mastered that um, issue and um, by a clever way of grating uh, and basically aligning and coupling the sample and the reference beam into a waveguide below the sensor, it's now possible to analyze, un analyze the signal from the complete chip. Um, you have two beams that are coupled and they form an interference pattern. Once an analyte binds to the immobilized ligand, um, the refractive index change translates to uh, a shift in this interference pattern. And this is the basis for the readout that is done, which leads to kinematic information. Um, and um, the recorded information is of high resolution and sensitivity. Between or uh, besides other interesting me measurement modes like off-rate ranking and others, um, Wave Delta allows you to have two um, interesting measurement modes called multi-cycle kinetics. This is a more classical approach and the new Wave Rapid module. Multi-cycle kinetics, as we know also from other such as um, SPR, analyzes um, each concentration of analyte independently on, of the next concentration. Basically, you analyze different sets of concentration, summarize the, info, uh, the, 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 um, the data to get kinetics um, KDs, but also equilibrium KDs. The wave RAPID um, has a different um, idea. RAPID stands for repeated analyte pulses of increasing duration. And indicated by these bluish boxes, this means you have one concentration of analyte, but you uh, give it in uh, pulses that have different durations, so it's getting longer and longer, the injection. And by doing so, uh, you can uh, nicely record the dissociation rate, and by mathematical uh, maneuver, the association rate is calculated and you can get kinetic informations out of that um, innovative new measurement mode. Even though the X uh, axis is not completely comparable, you might already see the point that in fewer time you get more concentration points and get faster data by using wave rapid compared to the multi excital analysis. Hence, wave rapid is a nice tool for screening approaches. You get kinetic information already at the screening level, and this is quite powerful, um, as we all know. We really like about GCI that is a very versatile tool. So we can apply this tool in five of the six main areas that we're working in, and we can um, work with this tool in four of the uh, three of the four um, major process uh, items that we have. So it's a really, really versatile tool and an important tool in our portfolio. 